Prophet John Harkey here, Hello Citadel Church, and any leaders or congregants or even new members or somebody who just walked in and you're like, I'm watching this video and, and I've heard these core values of prophetic, relational, spiritual. Well, I've addressed the first two, the, the prophetic and the relational. I want to now address and the spiritual. What are some of the practical the practical understanding is what does it mean to be spiritual? Well, I want to say something very clear. There's a difference between being spiritual and being religious. Jesus didn't confront spirituality. He confronted religion. So what is the difference? The difference between spirituality and religion is this. Religion uses spiritual things to weaponize, to control, to objectify, and to manipulate. Will spiritual things use the spiritual things to empower, deliver, and save. That's the difference. So when you're talking about spiritual as the senior leader of the Citadel Church, this is how I see it both biblically and, and this is how I see it in my personal convictions. When I'm spiritual, I never elevate myself above someone who, who isn't. I want to honor somebody who hasn't been in church in their life that walks in here and not project that I know more, I've done this before, I know more than you and you're less than me. Because I want you to get a clear understanding of this. A woman was caught in adultery, John 8. Just this one thought. Jesus, there, she's going to be stoned. He writes in the sand. We don't know what he wrote. But he didn't write it for the, the st people that were stoning him, the religious leaders. He wrote it for her to read. We don't know what was wrote, obviously. But, but one thing we do know is that Je Jesus kneeled down. So in other words, part of being spiritual is being able to relate to people at their level. Because that where you can bring transformation by what God or the Holy Spirit has given you. That your prayer life brings transformation because spiritual people pray. Your knowledge of scripture and the spirit of revelation that's on you. Your, your ability to discern the word of God when you're at that person's level. You're able to give them spiritual insights you'll be able to give them the word because you yourself have a relationship with Jesus and you have a relationship with the word. And then also, you're all, being spiritual is having the wisdom, the practical wisdom and the supernatural wisdom to give them a solution to their sin or to their struggle or to what they're dealing with, or to their question. That's really being spiritual in a practical way. Because you quite, you've heard this slang word, oh, they act so spiritual. And, and that's true. I mean, you know, they, they, they're, and they, really what they could say, they act holier than now. Being being spiritual doesn't mean that you project yourself to be more righteous than somebody. Being spiritual is lowering yourself and humbling yourself in order because you want God to touch you and you want God to touch people. And so humility 
is, and obviously, I think pr the primary discerner, when someone's humble, they're probably very spiritual, really humble. Their connection with Jesus, because he's the most humblest person that ever walked the face of the earth. He's fully God, but he lowered himself, took the form of a servant, and was nailed to the cross. And when I talk about spirituality, our spiritual growth, your growth in prayer, your growth in the word, your growth in church attendance. You can't tell me you're spiritual and you're not at church. You're, and you're giving. Your generosity. Why? Because God is such a generous giver. Your, your tithe and offering. Because you can't tell me you're spiritual and you don't tithe and give. You can't tell me that. It's a, that's duplicity. That's a person who's double-minded. You can't tell me you're spiritual when you come to church once in a while and you're committed. Oh, I'm not going to say you're not interested in spiritual things, but you have, you're not spiritual. You, you can't also tell me that you're spiritual if you don't witness, if you don't share your faith. Part of, our, part of practicality of being spiritual, I was so blessed. A number of our, our people are in the tent and they're and they, they're, they're witnessing to, to people that are coming in to buy fireworks. They're, they're witnessing to people. They're inviting them to church. It's, that's a part of what it means to be spiritual. And we should be doing that on a, on a habitual, consistent manner. And I understand that, you know, some of us are louder than the others. Some of us are more personal than others. We all have our disposition and personality. But personality doesn't give your individual personality, doesn't give you an exemption from being truly spiritual. You know, well, that's not me. I, 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 no, I'm embarrassed, and, and I, no, no, that's not who I am. And you, No, no, we, and then, and then putting myself in a place where I have what God has put in me has to come out of me. So that's why, you know, Bible study, attending the men's class if you're a man, attending the women's ministry if you're there, if you're a youth, you're, you're, you're attending that. If you're a leader, you're here at every meeting because we grow spiritually. And obviously, you know, I do counseling. And one of the things that on my website is to, why do I counsel? To awaken that person's spirit. Because when you're spirit, when you're awakened spiritually, everything else in life, Everything else in life awakens. It wakes you up from your slumber. It wakes you up from, from boredom. It wakes you up from times when you feel spiritually lazy or emotional lazy. And so being spiritual is, is not something that, you know, when, you know I, we've heard this. Let's like wrap this up. We've heard this word. Don't be so heavenly minded that you're no earthly good. Can I tell you something? That's not in the Bible, by the way. Because Paul said in Colossians, in the epistle of Colossians, that, that set your affection or set your mind on the things above and not on the things below. So as I close, the, spir the spiritual man, the spiritual woman, is someone whose mind, whose heart, whose soul is set upon heavenly things and then brings what's... In in heaven, down to this earth. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. God bless you.